Hello, I'm John Chain. Today I will be describing to you some medical device development efforts using the MicroPower Ultra Wideband Impulse Radar. Our goal is to build medical sensing capabilities to enable better trauma and critical care in austere and definitive care environments. MIR is a technology derived from the National Ignitions Facility's predecessor with a large patent portfolio. It is an electromagnetic sensor it sends out pulses and look for reflected echo signals. It's used for motion detection, localization, and imaging. This diagram, this figure, shows the form factors, which is on the size of a matchbox. This is in contrast to typical laboratory environments, which there are racks of equipment that's necessary to produce these type of sensing. The mirror sensor technology provides multiple capabilities for medical applications. In this view graph, we have a series of different modalities in which the sensor suite could be used. We could use it to track people through barriers, through walls. We could use it to image the individual, a whole body imaging tool. And we could use it to diagnose very sensitive and in high resolution vital signs. For application spaces, it's very conducive for difficult to access environments, such as search and rescue environments, out of hospital care and combat casualty care, and for first responders, for law enforcement as an example. Remote vital sign sensing has been demonstrated to collapse structures. We've taken this technology and showed that various type of motion sensing measurements can be made through rubble piles, such as when we took this device to the disaster city mock scenario environment. In this view graph, what you see is a series of images that describe how the radar is in place, as indicated by the red circles, and where the subjects are placed, as described by the green circles. On the right hand of this view graph, you see the raw signals coming out of these type of radar uh, technologies. And with minimum amount of signal processing, you could easily describe a breathing signal out of this The mirror life sign detectors have been deployed and proven at major disasters. We've taken this technology suite to help the first responders in looking for uh, trapped subjects at the World Trade Center in 2001, and then once again in 2005 as a result of Hurricane Katrina. In this view graph set, there's examples of how these devices are being used. The mirror stethoscope provides a unique non-invasive, non-contact, remote sensing vital signs monitor. Because of the high resolution capabilities, we've been able to correlate these type of radar signals with medical gold standards, such as the EKG and pulse oximetry. This example shows some of the results of that effort. The mirror brain scanner can provide a compact, field-capable diagnostic tool for traumatic head injury detection and monitoring. In this case, a big problem in emergency in-field care is the ability to detect bleeding within the brain as a result of a head injury. This view graph set gives you an impression of the type of signals we are looking for and correlating it to the gold standards, once again, of the CT scans and MRI. The mirror voice sensor can improve voice recognition and monitor voice-related illnesses. This is an ongoing effort over the past 10 years to develop a non-invasive, non-contacting way of detecting the voice production mechanisms. Because of its compact size and low size weight and power, it has potential opportunities in being used in a non-intrusive way for people to wear continuously. As a success story, the mirror pneumothorax detector has been successfully transitioning into a clinical product. This view graph gives you a sense of the description of the problem, which is a puncture lung phenomenon that is often life-threatening, and the summary of the clinical studies that we've done to date with high efficacy. So finally, mirror technology is a safe device. It's suitable for human use because of its low power. It's many times less than the cell phone power that's emitted. It's non-ionizing radiation, and this is in contrast to x-rays, for example. 
It is non-invasive and doesn't require skin contact. Because of this, it is suitable for use in remote locations, difficult terrains, it is portable, it is battery operated, and it is very cost effective. On the right, you will see some of the nominal specifications describing this technology. So in summary, MIR is leading the way to new medical diagnostic capabilities. It can perform multiple functions such as sensing, localization, and imaging. And its great advantages are its small size, low power, high resolution, and it's non-hazardous to humans. For more information, you could contact the Industrial Partnership Office at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. Thank you, and this is John Chang.